The Kerbal system contains planets and moons, all with different surface features. One type of surface feature that is quite recognizable is craters. Some worlds have been bombarded a lot through their lifetime, and you will notice that some of those impacts are quite big, leaving the planet scarred in a major way. But what are some of the biggest impacts in the Kerbal system, and what is their actual size? And can we estimate the size of the impactor that formed these craters? Let's start with making a list of some of the biggest craters that we can find, starting with Kerbin which has one clearly visible crater right here. When you look at the planet, zoom out a little bit, enough so that you don't see as much distortion due to perspective, knowing the diameter of the planet, we can estimate the size of the impact. Using this image, I came to a diameter of around 190 kilometers, plus or minus 10 kilometers. Still, this is all very much a rough estimate and as you have noticed maybe, this is a different value from a previous video due to me using a different method. The Moon has three very clear craters along its equator that all have a size of around 90 to 100 kilometers. There are also other crater-like formations on the Moon, but I'm not sure if the only explanation for those features is an impact, so I will leave those for now. Moho has two big impacts, one of which is absolutely enormous. These concentric rings that you can see right here form something called multi-ring basins. Sadly, I do not know how to differentiate between these rings and a so-called true crater rim, so I will have a range of the possible values of the diameter of the crater. Dres and Ilu don't have very large craters at a quick glance, so I will skip those. And in the case of Eve, I just happen to have footage of Eve without the dense cloud layers on top. And so we can see some craters. This one in particular is almost 400 kilometers wide. Next up, Bob, which is a very small body. And due to this fact, its scar is quite obvious. Knowing the size of this small moon, I estimate the crater being at around 80 to 90 kilometers wide. Then we arrive at Leith, the king of impacts, the prime asteroid attractor and the scarred sea world. When you look across its surface, you will notice it has multiple large impact craters. Some of them are 300 or 400 kilometers wide, and the biggest one is right here and it is around 500 kilometers, which is to my knowledge the biggest one in the Kerbal system. Alright, can we now try to estimate the size of these impactors that created these features. Well, using an equation that I've shown in a previous video, we can estimate the radius and thus the diameter of the impactor if we know a few variables. The problem is that there are a few variables that will make our calculation quite uncertain and have a wide range. Plus, I'm an amateur. Things like the angle at which the impactor hit the surface is difficult to determine. One might think that the shape would tell you that, like the ellipticalness might tell you that the object came at a lower angle, but due to the high speeds that the objects tend to have, it will almost leave a nice circular crater. And when you look at the moon for example, you will see that the vast majority of the craters are circular, but I can tell you now, they came from all kinds of angles. So sadly, this is an uncertainty that will remain for now. So using this equation and googling for some realistic values for some of the inputs, we will get a range of possible sizes of the impactor for each crater. I will give a visual aid to the estimated sizes. Red will be the minimum size according to this method, black the mean, and the blue here is the maximum size of the asteroid. Putting them all in one line, we will get this. So when it comes to the impactors of lathe, I feel that the maximum sizes of these asteroids are too large. 
so I have a feeling that this equation breaks down at larger scales, but it was worth a try. I want to ask everyone who is still watching and who has enjoyed the video to subscribe. This is actually the first time I've asked viewers to do so I think, but it really helps me making these videos and it gives extra motivation. Another way to support me is by liking this video and watching another one of mine. In the meantime, I will see you in the next one.